Hi KJ Techers, welcome back to another Tech Talk. Today, we're focusing on a crucial aspect of identifying fake emails, examining the sender's email address. Let's dive in and learn how to spot scams just by looking at the sender's email address. So Kai, how do you recognize suspicious sender's email addresses? The first thing to check in an email is the sender's address. Here are some key signs that the email might be fake. First, misspellings and unusual characters. Scammers use emails that look like real ones but have slight misspellings or odd characters. For example, support at paypal1.com instead of support at paypal.com. Second, inconsistent domain names. Legitimate companies use their official domains. Email from microsoft-support at gmail.com instead of at microsoft.com are likely fake. Third, personal or generic email services. Be cautious of emails for generic services like Gmail or Yahoo claiming to be from big companies. For example, Amazon customer service at yahoo.com is not from Amazon. Let's look at an example. Here's a fake email claiming to be from Xfinity. Notice the sender's address. No reply at herohesia-nyc.com instead of Xfinity at emails.xfinity.com. The entire sender's email is incorrect and a clear red flag. Now, I will break down why this example is suspicious. First, the domain name herohesia dash nyc.com has no connection to Xfinity. Official emails from Xfinity will always come from at xfinity.com or a closely related domain. This is a major indicator that the email is not legitimate. So what to do if you notice a suspicious email address? First, don't click on links. Avoid clicking on any links in this email. Second, don't download attachments. These can contain malware or viruses that can compromise your computer and personal information. Third, verify the sender. If not sure, contact the company directly using contact information from their official website. Never use contact information provided in the suspicious email. Fourth, report the email. Use your email services report function to flag the email as phishing. This helps prevent others from falling victim. Fifth, delete the email. Once reported, delete it immediately to avoid any accidental click. Here are a few more tips to help you stay safe. First, enable two-factor authentication. This adds an extra layer of security to your accounts. Second, regularly update your software. Ensure your email client and security software are up to date to protect against the latest threats. And third, be skeptical of urgent requests. Scammers often create a sense of urgency to trick you into making quick decisions. Always take a moment to verify the, the legitimacy of the request. In conclusion, by paying close attention to the sender's email address and following these steps, you can avoid falling victim to scams. Stay vigilant and share this video to help others stay safe, too. If you have any questions or need further assistance, reach out to KJ's Computer Support Group. We're here to help! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech tips and support. 
Stay safe online, everyone.